Good morning. Have you ever thought about the fact that the universe is constantly in flux? Nothing stays the same. Let me prove my point, but before I do so, I said this to a group of women about a month ago in a nail salon of all places, and they're listening, and one woman says, that's not true, and I was taken aback. I said, how so? She said, I left my husband, and I got divorced, and that's permanent. I conceded, but I said, you changed. You got unstuck. Please indulge me for a moment, and I invite you to participate in a very brief visualization. You can do this with your eyes open, or you can do it with your eyes closed. What I'd like you to do is just imagine, and we need it on this kind of a day, Imagine that you're walking along a beautiful, beautiful beach on a beautiful summer day. The sun is beginning to rise, and as that big red ball makes its way into the sky, a magnificent masterpiece is being formed, colors of purple and rose and gold, as if an artist took paint from its palette dabbed onto a canvas about to create something new, something magnificent, a unique, a unique picture, never to be seen exactly like that again. And as you walk along the beach, you'll notice as you move, the soft sand is moving ever so slightly. You'll notice your breath as you breathe in air and breathe it out. And then you can look at the water the beautiful, magnificent water, reminding yourself of the special connection we have with water. We need water, we're comprised mainly of water, and we are very, very much like water. Fluid, fluidity, movement. Now, as you walk along this beautiful beach, I invite you to go more inward and begin to think about your magnificent body, the design of the human body, the marvel that it is, all the systems working together, respiratory, circulatory, skeletal, muscular, like a beautiful orchestra making magnificent music, the winds, the strings, the brass, with the mighty brain conducting, all of this lovely rhythm going on without us even really paying attention. Movement going inward, internally, externally. Now, those of you who have, who have your eyes closed, I'll invite you to open them. Nothing stays the same, even the wonderful moments, we, we hold on to them. But with all of this movement, people get stuck. And sometimes they think they can't, they, they stay stuck and never can get unstuck. We all know people like that, don't we? How many know people who are stuck? We know they get stuck in relationships personally and professionally. And those in the professional world are obviously influenced by their personal. Those with personal situations are influenced by professional. And so when they go to work, those employees who feel stuck, well, the managers are stuck with employees who feel stuck. But employees are also stuck with managers who feel stuck. And what happens is corporations become stuck. And what that does, as we know, is productivity decreases and the ultimate profitability decreases. And we know this happens a great deal. I hear stories about this all the time, as I'm sure many of you do. I just heard one a couple of weeks ago, people leave because of the culture, not because of the work itself. In 2013, Gallup did a study across the nation. 70% of workers are disengaged. 18% are highly disengaged. And of those 18%, which is disturbing enough, they undermine the workers who are satisfied, they undermine them. Corporate America recognized there was a problem. So they went out and they purchased expensive lunches, ping pong tables, believing that would be the solution. In the long term, it was not. What they decided was that the Employees needed something more positive, and they thought that managers provide, who provide support and a positive message 
would help American pro workers produce in a double amount. That is major. With all that studying, with all of this, this deciding, this is the answer, people often say to me, people don't change, darling. They never change. Well, I believe people do change. I wouldn't be in the change business if I didn't think that. But they have to want to change. And they have all the tools within them. So the idea that people can't change is truly a defeatist position.